ex-Napoleonic General Zalard and General Ventura of the famous French Legion that once paraded under French tricolor found employment to train and modernize Khalsa Army under Sikh Kingdom, superpower of the day. They marched under the Khalsa flags carrying an effigy of Guru Gobind Singh and Vaheguruji Ki Fateh motto. Within a short time, more than 40 Europeans from 13 different countries were employed in the ever-expanding Sikh Empire that stood firm against Mughals, British, and Maratha power and formed a buffer state against Afghanistan, China, and Russia. The Sikhs had barely recovered from the partition carnage that resulted in the forced movement of 20 million people and about 1.5 million killings due to the wicked agreement by the power-hungry Congress party and shrewd Britishers. The Agal Takat and Golden Temple Gateway buildings in the complex storing revered invaluable gifts were bombed. Indian Army then looted the historical treasures including paintings, artifacts, coins and invaluable manuscripts from the Sikh Reference Library and Museum. The wounded Sikh psyche across the globe powered the resurgence of interest in Sikh coins and artifacts. Collectors, numismatists, authors and historians from beyond the geographical boundaries where Sikhism originated also felt compelled to collect, protect, research and write about Sikh heritage. Due to states' mischievous policies concerning language, water, power, agriculture, and employment, Punjab in 1980 suffered a violent separatist militancy, followed by several state-supported ethnic cleansing operations for two decades. To the relief of agencies, Punjab fell in the grip of drug epidemic of enormous dimensions. Victims of similar suppressive strategies, Koningo, Cumans, and Mishi are some of the many extinct ethnic groups on our planet. On an average, a language dies every four months. The time has come to find the icons of our glorious past to bring the addicted youth out of decades-long slumber. Three times, not so long ago, a Sikh sovereign rule was established. Banda Bahadur, in 1710, founded a short-lived Sikh Republic. Later, Dal Khalsa, a missile's confederacy led by Jassa Singh Aluwalia from 1760 to 1801. And finally, a durable and most secular Sarkari Khalsa, umpired by a Maharaja Ranjit Singh from 1801 to 1849. Divine Nanak Shahi coins were minted under all three rulers. Today, Khalsa Aid brand name is in circulation globally like Sikh coins. True to the Sikh ideals of sharing, they are delivering the currency of compassion. By documenting the glorious history and heritage, this film is an attempt to inspire the youth our future leaders.